The uh, uh, World IPv6 Launch Day that took place on June 8th helped raise a, uh, awareness of this. Uh, top content providers, major networks uh, have turned on v6. We now have the mobile industry paying attention. Uh, T-Mobile just announced they're turning on v6 across their mobile network. If you happen to get a Galaxy phone, you'll find out that it acquires a v6 address and a v4. Most of your internet access is over v6. Because if you go to a major website like Google and Facebook, it prefers v6 to v4. You won't even know you're using v6 because of your service provider. And that's the way it's supposed to be. In the Asia-Pacific region, they've been dealing with this now for um, about six months, and a lot of service providers are paying attention to V6. Um, we can keep V4 running. Uh, people say, well, you know, I don't, I don't, John, I don't believe it. I think we can keep V4 running. There's absolutely no doubt. There are 4.3 billion IPv4 addresses, and you can slice them and share them and, and keep it going. But there's 7 billion people. So if they all get a smartphone, Half the people's phones are off at any given moment. If you have something at home, that's 14 billion. And if you have a computer at work, that's 21. And I still haven't numbered one cloud server or one social network server. I need 21 billion addresses just for the 7 billion people to have work, home, and a mobile device. So 4 billion isn't going to cut it. We probably need 50. Um, can you stay with IPv4? You can. Will it work? It will get more and more interesting each year. At some point, it will fail a capital model. Um, and so some companies are paying attention to that. Others are not paying attention to that. We have a wonderful, um, um, unregulated, service provider-led transition. Uh, and um, this will be an industry event that will take place over the next five to 10 years. Be very exciting. Um, the way that people can help is obviously you yourself should make sure your content's on v6. If you ask a service provider for that, some of them have realized this is a differentiator. If I have v6 and my competitors don't, I'll get their customers. And that's actually making a pretty big difference. Uh, the US government's actually taking that approach itself. It's mandated that the uh, public facing uh, websites of the USG will be IPv6 reachable. And that's um, more websites than you could possibly imagine. Uh, and taking a bit of time but it is causing the industry to wake up to the importance of this. So we have good progress, um, but again, this is really each uh, service provider's decision to make, um, and some learn faster than others.